Hello and welcome back to another Teddy's Junction video. Um, today's just literally a quick one, so it's regarding the Castle Cricket. Um, as per last video, I installed the micro switcher and I was looking at the night lights. Um, I don't know if you remember, but basically I had this one on on the top there, and then this oval plate was the same colour blue so taking these off it's it taking all the paint off I tried using the glue um, like a super glue remover and um, it was a waste of time to be honest if I can find it so it was this so I tried using this super glue debonder um, it says it debonds items stuck together with cured super glue and it removes excess cured and wet super glue from most surfaces I literally had this drenched on there it was puddled um, I left it for uh, ages I gave it plenty of time I worked it with a brush I was just trying to lift the plate as much as I could just so I can get it to go underneath it didn't touch it um, again that was the issue with this one so when I removed this one um, it took as you can see quite a fair amount of paint straight off the plate so um, unfortunately that wasn't successful so I decided I was going to leave the oval ones on and then I'll just repaint them so there you have it So um, as always roundhouse gave uh, absolute speedy delivery of the the castle uh, the Cricket Castle original plates main plates. What I didn't realise was actually um so on the sort of the right hand side of the local it's Castle Cricket as you can see. Um, both painted red red. You can just see here unfortunately where a bit of the original plate the the paint had come off from where the original main plate was super glued on. Because they are slightly wider up. So I've just touched it up. I mean, it's you know, sort of from here, it's not that obvious. Um, but generally, quite pleased how I've turned out. So obviously, painting these while I'm still on a loco was a bit tricky when it comes to just cleaning the face up really wet and dry. Um, and then I painted these obviously off the loco, and they were fine. One on the front. Bugley, tiny one at the front there, which obviously looks great. Yes, yeah, so on the other side, as you can see, same again. Just painted it while it was on the left cone. It's turned out, it's turned out quite nice. Quite happy with the finish, and then the Cricket Castle on the left hand side of the local. So I didn't realise it was actually different with this with on the sides. I'm hoping that's the right side, that's what it would appear on the on the website on the pictures. And then all I've done is generally give it a clean up. Um, I've sorted out so that was all stretched. So I've managed to sort of repair that, make that look a lot neater, a lot better. I've touched everything up, gone over with the paint, cleaned it all um, as best I can. So yeah, generally, uh, quite nice, I'm happy, happy with how she looks, finished off nice, I'm sure the lads will love it, um, so yeah, there you go, I mean obviously just as a, a quick one again, just a quick reminder regarding the um, the switcher, so as you, as you would have seen on the previous video, so the power switch toggle was actually here, on this side, but now that's eliminated, so you know, going to run it as you would normally, turn it on inside the cab, and then you can mute it if you wanted to. You know, if, if it's while you're getting yourself ready or you, you, you're hooking up your trucks, garages, coaches, whatever you're going to run with, um, and then when you're ready. Right, no, it's unfortunately it doesn't do the start up as, as you've seen on the previous but 
Everything else is there. I've re-gauged the wheels and so yeah, there we have it. And that's it then for now. Um, I'll get some footage running it. I mean, literally, it was literally just a quick one for today. Um, just sort of show you with the badges, the new name plates, painted and fitted. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with these particularly. I don't know. I, don't, I might I'm obviously just keep them for now. Um, keep them to the side. It's a shame I couldn't get that off, you know. Um, but it is what it is. To, to prevent further damage to the paint, I decided leave them well alone <laughs> as you would so yeah um, that's it brilliant um, obviously I will get footage on the track um, and, and then you can see her see her running so okay thanks for watching